guys, my name is Shane and I just passed the NCLEX RN this April 2017. I wanted to make these videos to help students who are searching for tips and advice about the NCLEX. Now I know that there are a lot of videos out there talking about the NCLEX and what to do and what review to take and all these other stuff and I want to be here to tell you um, the tips that I use that will maybe help you in the future um, passing the NCLEX. Pass the NCLEX, there's basically five basic things that you need to do in order to pass. The first thing you need to know is know what you're facing. Uh, what this means is, is like do as much research about the NCLEX as you possibly can. So if that means reading, if you look in any nursing book in the front page, um, in the introduction, it will explain to you what the NCLEX is. Uh, also, if you take a review course, I know that in every orientation or the beginning, they will talk about what the NCLEX is, they'll go about the level of passing and where you need to be in order to be considered a competent nurse so that the computer can be the one to tell you that, hey, you're competent, all right, let me license you, and you'll finally get that license. So, do your research on what the NCLEX is haven't already so that you understand where you need to be when it comes to reviewing. Number two, know where you stand. Know where your weaknesses are, know where your strengths are. So for example, if your weakness is pharma, study pharma. Uh, if your weakness is OB, study OB. Uh, you know, don't spend so much time trying to memorize the entire book. Like a lot of other people said, you took up four years, two years, five years, however many years in nursing school and your teachers prepared you well. You did your part, you graduated. You can do this. The NCLEX is just another test. So know your weaknesses tackle those first then knowing and covering all of the basics I think you'll be fine whatever works for you it's up to you as long as you know where you stand whether it's it's uh, your strengths your weakness so know where you stand so that you can see where you can improve the NCLEX has eight categories and you have to make sure that you are above 50 percent in those categories so whether if it's management of care, or safety and infection control, or physiological adaptation, make sure you know those eight categories. Now it's impossible to know everything. It is. You can't, you can't go in. Are you, I mean, you can't walk in thinking that you got it in the bag. No. The only thing that the computer wants to know is if you'll be a safe nurse. That the skills that you have, the, the knowledge that you have learned, that you have attained, will be enough to help somebody if you see, you know, collapsing on the road. So, and of course, to perform and to be a registered nurse, to uh, actually work in the hospital. Tip number three on how to pass the NCLEX is choosing the right study program. I cannot emphasize this enough. There are so many study programs out there and they, I'm sure they are all great and they want to help you reach your goals and becoming successful in any place. However, I believe that um, it would have to be a combination of study materials. So what I suggest is to take at least three to five different sources to study from so that you have a, a good general background of, of what the books have to offer and making sure that those books will help you on the NCLEX. 
So you don't want to get a book that will give you easy questions that is not even going to be on the NCLEX because the NCLEX is not even about those memory or those recall questions like we used to have in nursing school. It's totally different. So you want to pick the best course that will train you in conquering the NCLEX. Tip number four, in passing the NCLEX RN, you need to make a schedule and stick to it. When you find out your ATT after applying to the boards and you get your, uh, your ATT to test, make a schedule. Go ahead and pick your date or your estimated date on when you want to take it and make a schedule of your day. So for example, if you are a morning person, make a schedule what time you're waking up, then eat your, your breakfast, then if you have a devotional or if you do journaling, write that in your schedule and then put away time for how long you'll be studying in that day. From there, you'll be organized, you'll be more less stressed because you kind of have it together so that by the time your test day comes you'll be prepared much more better than if you didn't even have a schedule so for example if you are a morning person and um, you have scheduled your exam in the morning start your day every day as if you were going to take the exam for example we go exam is at 8, wake up at 6, take however many time you need to eat breakfast, uh, put in a little social media, and then at by this o'clock you do this amount of questions, and then make sure that in some part of the day you put exercise. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Um, I know we can get so lazy and we can get so tired from doing so many questions but trust me exercising will actually energize your brain it will um, pretty much like wake up your nerves and get that blood flow in getting your oxygen in your brain so that you can retain more knowledge and plus your endorphins will be coming out and saying you know will helping you feel good so that when you're ready to take another question bank or another set of questions you'll have more confidence, more energy, you'll start to see things in a more positive way. Be consistent. Uh, try as much as you can to be consistent with your schedule. Make sure you have some time to rest. Um, don't burn out yourself. Don't, don't try to do a whole day without any breaks. Take breaks. You need a break, okay? <laughs> and then if you have you know, a day in the week that you need to rest, take that day off. day comes, the week starts, you go back to your schedule. It's like going to school, going back to school or going to work. So yeah, so this whole NCLEX experience has to do with a lot of determination, motivation, and discipline. The fifth tip in passing the NCLEX RN is faith. I believe in a God that is alive, that is well, that is true, that is real and without him I don't know if I could even walk into that testing center so I encourage you to take some time to get to know God to know who he is and to realize that he has always been there throughout all of your experience in your whole nursing career nursing school if you've heard of him if you've ever wondered about him I encourage you to just take a silent, just one, one little bit of your time and, and you know, try to get to know him and who he is because God will help you get through it. His faith and your faith together will be something amazing happen. For me, I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my God and for what he did with me. I wouldn't be able to answer the question trainers. I wouldn't be able to, my anxiety would have gotten over me taking control if I didn't have him in my life. So, tip number five, and I think 
is the most important tip is to have faith have faith in him and his calling of you and where you stand I mean he wouldn't have gotten you through nursing school if he didn't have a plan for you so I'm here wanting to remind you that God has a plan for you he's gonna use you mightily as a nurse and he's gonna equip you with the knowledge with the wisdom and the strength you need to conquer this test because if he can do it in the past if he can help and conquer so many other giants, he can conquer this giant and make you victorious and he will deliver. Well, I hope these tips will help you in conquering the NCLEX RN and I can't wait to hear about your stories. Please feel free to comment below if you've had any more tips, advice, any anything, please state it down there on below and watch out for more videos. I'll be tackling and explaining my experience on the NCLEX, my journey, um, the difference, what's so great about Kaplan, why is it a big deal, why doesn't it work for some people, why does it work for some people, the difference, and please stay tuned and keep coming back, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys, God bless, have a great day.